Hello, this is Mahua Moitra. I'm here to put a few facts on record and to bust a few myths and uh, some fake propaganda that is being sent around on social media regarding the horrific rape and murder on 9th of August in RG Kaur Hospital. Number one, there is a figure of 150 grams of bodily fluids being floated around by responsible media. Uh, the first thing to remember is that the autopsy, the post-mortem, was carried out in the presence of a judicial magistrate, in the presence of three doctors as witnesses, and in the presence of the family. The entire procedure was videographed. It was not possible to tamper with anything. In any autopsy or post-mortem, the weight and uh, situation of each particular organ is commented upon, like the liver, the heart. Similarly, in this case, the inner and outer genitalia was the, the comment on that, the total weight of the inner and outer genitalia was something close to 150 grams. Number one, bodily fluids are measured in milliliters, not in grams. This was the total weight of the internal viscera of the reproductive organs. It has nothing to do with any amount of bodily fluids found. It is very unfair and irresponsible on the part of media houses, especially responsible ones like the print, to keep propagating, propaga uh, propagating this false information. Number two, that the place of occurrence, the crime scene was tampered with and there was some kind of construction going on there. Please understand the facts surrounding this. The crime scene, the PO, the place of occurrence was sealed off by the police immediately after the crime came to light. It is now only within the um, Calcutta police and CBI are the only people who can access that. It is secured. After the incident happened, the health secretary came to the spot and met with doctors and students. The students said that they needed a rest area and they needed toilets to be constructed immediately. The superintendent engineer was asked without delay on, the, on behalf of the students to go and construct this. This is why the work started there to construct the toilets and the rest area in keeping with the students' demands at a place of their choosing. This is not the place of occurrence or the PO or the crime scene which was completely separate. Number three, that there was somehow an co inquiry committee set up to investigate the, uh, the mental health or the psychiatric condition of the victim. This is complete and utter rubbish. After the 9th of August, when the FIR was filed and the police took over the investigation, an internal administrative committee board was set up as is normal standard operating procedure in any, in any situation like this to see if there were any lapses on the part of the hospital. This five-member inquiry committee headed by, well, had a chairperson who was the head of department, uh, who was the dean of uh, student affairs, and the convener was the head of the Department of Anatomy. Three other members was head of the Department of Medicine, another HOD of Anatomy, and the head of the Department of Psychiatry. This was only to look into administrative lapses and to see an internal inquiry as a standard operating procedure. This was no inquiry to go into the psychiatric state of the student. Please understand. These are three important things one needs to keep in mind. Thank you very much.